So four weeks into what should have been a mass vaccination push in New York, only about a third of their supply has actually been used, and about 1.5% of state residents have been vaccinated. And as Ross Barkin notes in his latest piece, Vaccination cannot offer redemption for New York, but it could provide hope for 2021. Yeah, some are blaming Governor Andrew Cuomo for that slow rollout as the governor holds final authority behind who receives the vaccine and when. Ross is going to join us now to break down New York's vaccination problem. Good to see you, Ross. Thanks for joining us. Great, great to great to be on again and talk to Cuomo and, and now <laughs> vaccine. Yeah, absolutely. Good to see you, man. Uh, so, Ross, let's break this down. What the hell is going on here? Uh, I've seen vaccines get thrown out. I've seen um, some jurisdictions get fined or punished for trying to give the vaccine to, like, first responders. Now I just saw that if you're elderly and you want to receive a vaccine in New York State, you have to go through a 51 questionnaire um, in order to determine your eligibility, and even then, you may not get it. So what is going on? Why is this such a disastrous rollout? So, so I, I can confirm the length of that questionnaire. I actually just helped sign up my uh, father, who's over the age of 75, for a vaccine. And I don't know how a non-tech-savvy person would get through a questionnaire like this. So basically, what happened was Andrew Cuomo, like governors in other states, had set up these very onerous guidelines for who could get a vaccine. We have been really making a lot of mistakes and making it harder, not easier to vaccinate people. So because Andrew Cuomo is something of a control freak, he actually was threatening million dollar fines on healthcare providers that jumped the line, so to speak, and vaccinated certain people who weren't in the priority group. So under an extreme amount of pressure from Mayor Bill de Blasio, from a lot of elected officials, public health experts, Cuomo finally on Friday relented and allowed people over 75 and over to sign up for vaccines. So the, for the first time starting today, people 75 and over, no matter who you are, can get a vaccine. It's not just limited to healthcare workers and nursing home residents, which who are the really only priority groups going into today. So a very small number of people were vaccinated. New York was not a leader in the vaccination push, and we are now somewhere in the middle and since so many people die here, 38,000 plus, we really have to be at the forefront um, if we really want to beat this pandemic and restore some level of normalcy. Yeah. yeah. So as much as I love just like beating up on Governor Cuomo because I think he's gotten this like hero status that he that is woefully undeserved um, throughout this pandemic, I also want to use this to like learn lessons about what New York did wrong and what other states are doing better. So compare the response in New York to what other places are doing and what are some of the like lessons we should take from that. Sure. So New York is not necessarily doing worse than other large states. If you're looking at California, if you're looking at Texas, maybe even Florida to an extent, there are certain states that have been very aggressive with the vaccine push, like uh, West Virginia, interestingly enough, um, Tennessee was ahead of New York, Vermont. I think the big thing with getting people vaccinated is you have to make it as simple as possible. If it were up to me, if I were running the show, it would be all senior citizens, 65 plus, no questions asked, mass vac vaccination sites 24-7, which New York is just starting to do now, and really making it as easy as as possible to vaccinate as many people as you can. New York was throwing out dosages because doctors and healthcare providers were afraid of running afoul of Andrew Cuomo's rules. You cannot threaten healthcare providers with million dollar fines. That is absolute insanity. If someone is around to take a dose, they should get a dose. It's as simple as that. So if there happens to be, maybe there's a person who's not in a priority group, but you can get it to them, get it to them. I think the big thing is vaccinating senior citizens. You do a mass vaccination push, 65 plus, that is the group we know scientifically is most at risk to die if they're infected. We do that, we will really take a dramatic step closer toward ending the pandemic. Yeah. So, Ross, let's run through this. Are there remedies? Is Cuomo going to change his behavior? I have not seen like kind of the widespread condemnation that he might be able to respond to in order to speed this up. Are there any outside pressure that is realistically could change this? So the good news is he as he has already responded to some pressure. The fact that today in New York state, 
people age 75 and older can sign up for a vaccine. It, it, it sounds like it should have happened a month ago. The mm-hmm. fact that it's happening today is because of pressure from the mayor, from a lot of interest groups, from a lot of politicians. So Cuomo, in one hand, he's very difficult to deal with. He is something of an authoritarian in New York State. But if you really can build a lot of public pressure, you can start to push things in the right direction. Opening up the priority groups to 75 plus was definitely a help. The next step is 65 plus and really just staying on top of him, really letting him know that we need to get people vaccinated and there can't be questions asked anymore. We can't make it complicated. I I use the example of the stimulus checks in the CARES Act. Why were they so successful? Because it was free money to everyone who qualified. There was no bureaucracy. There was no red tape. And if you take that away, you can get a lot more people and reach a lot more people. I still think the system as it's set up in New York has far too much bureaucracy. The fact that you have to answer a questionnaire to me is somewhat, somewhat crazy yeah. because I know a lot of seniors who won't be able to get through a questionnaire and figure out a QR code. And if they don't have helpful younger people, they may not get vaccinated. And that's a terrible thing. I completely yeah, agree. Yeah, indeed. Thank you so much. Great to see you. Thanks, Ross. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Mm-hmm. Coming up, Senator Joe Manchin's rejection of $2,000 stimulus checks once again put him at odds with progressives and not just them. We're going to discuss the new PAC working to corner Joe Manchin on this issue when rising continues. <laughs> 